Hi everyone! Um, well, recently I went to New York for a holiday and um, we visited New York Comic Con but we also had a few days after that in New York to spend some time and look around. So um, I bought lots of stuff and then I decided to do a, a shop log of everything that I bought while I was in New York. Um, I always, when I go to the USA, I buy a lot of makeup as well. But I'll start this video with all the movie stuff and then go along with the makeup stuff. So then you can skip parts you don't want to see. Well, let's start with the movie stuff. Um, I bought a few t-shirts. I bought this one. It's a Freddy vs. Jason t-shirt. I remember we were in a shop and there was this awesome... Uh, this awesome t-shirt uh, from IT, but it was a man's shirt and Sikh was thinking about buying that and um, yeah I was looking around in the shop and I asked do you have any other like horror shirts but then for women and then they said no no yeah we just have some some Daryl shirt from The Walking Dead with kind of like I love Daryl and I really don't like that kind of t-shirt so I already gave up but then at the end of the men's shirt, this shirt was, and that was a woman's shirt, so I was very happy to still find a shirt in that shop. And yeah, I I, I like it. I like Freddy vs. Jason. Um, yeah, I like both of their movies, not the Freddy vs. Jason in particular, but yeah, it's, it's a nice shirt for me. One of the first days we went shopping, I found this shirt, a Mario Kart shirt. I like it a lot. I don't have a Mario shirt yet. I don't have it. Now I do. I like it. It was... I'm not sure which shop. I think something like a JCPenney's or something. So yeah, I bought it there and I was actually surprised to find something. Uh, I didn't expect it. And then my third t-shirt, my last one. I bought this t-shirt at New York Comic Con. Yeah, it's been in, in the wash and I haven't ironed it yet, so don't pay attention to that. But it's an arrow shirt and I haven't seen that one yet either in women's. You have filled this city. So I was very glad to find that t-shirt and I bought it immediately as soon as I found it. So those are my t-shirts I bought. I thought I have more, but I couldn't find any. Maybe I'm forgetting something, but... This is what I have for now. Um, also at New York Comic Con, um, I saw Alex Vincent. He's the guy that in the first two Child's Play movies, he played the child Andy. And in the last uh, Cult of Chucky movie, he also has a role as Andy again. And yeah, I got an autograph and I also got a picture with him. I can show you that right here. It's on my phone. But yeah, I really liked it. We had a chat and it, it was nice to meet him. I'm a big Chucky fan. So uh, yeah, I've also seen Call of Chucky. If you want to know more about our thoughts on that, just check out www.conmos.com. There's our review already. Well, on to the DVDs then. Of course, Call of Chucky. That hasn't been released in the Netherlands yet, so I had to buy it there. Uh, I saw it in a Best Buy. And I immediately decided to buy it. Yeah, I just had to see it. So it was the first movie we saw when we got home. Another movie I found at the same Best Buy was 31. Yeah, it's a Rob Zombie movie and I do love Rob Zombie movies. So I really had to have this DVD. A couple of years ago or maybe even last year. I think last year, yeah. The, a big part of the cast of 31 was at Weekend of Hell convention in Germany and we met a few there and yeah, th that was a lot of fun and I still wanted to have the movie on DVD so I saw it at Best Buy and I, I bought it as well. Then I have five more DVDs. I bought these at a, I think it was a kind of bookstore and they were having some DVDs on sale. It are all movies I haven't seen yet but still want to see and yeah they seem nice to me. One of those is uh, The Squid and the Whale. So I'm curious to see uh, this movie. I hadn't heard of it but it sounded more like a, a drama art house movie so definitely interested to, to see more. Another horror movie I bought was Truth or Dare, Deadly Dares. 
Yeah, th th this can go either way. It can be a very bad movie. It's about the game Truth or Dare and it, of course, going wrong in, in a horror style. I didn't see that <laughs> this was part four. But okay, well, never mind, never mind. I will watch it and I will let you know my thoughts. So, yeah. Another movie I found off and running. I hadn't heard of this movie before, but I read it and it, yeah, it, it was quite interesting. It's a story about adoption and finding uh, parents, finding your roots. Uh, yeah, family, love. I'm curious to see what, what kind of movie it is. Then another one, The Nines with Ryan Reynolds. So, yeah, I don't know a lot about this movie. I just I just checked it out and I thought it might be fun to, to watch it. So I bought this one as well. And then as last, I bought a Capote. I have no clue, but it's with Philip Seymour Hoffman. And yeah, it's it sounds like... A movie I might like. So th these are all like tryouts and I didn't know them before buying but yeah that makes it fun. Sometimes buying a couple of stuff, uh, buying a couple of DVDs that you haven't heard of yet, just give it a chance. So that's it for the movie stuff and now I'm gonna proceed with um, some makeup I bought. Oh yeah first I had I bought a book. Here it is. I was walking around in this bookstore, they also sold uh, these DVDs then and some games and stuff and of course, yeah, Sieg was looking around and it, it, it took quite a long while so I went checking out the books just to see what they had and then I found this Dutch book. Yeah, so I thought, well, how big is the chance that I find a Dutch book in New York? And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's about uh, business and marketing. So yeah, then that's really an interest of me. So I decided to buy the book and it was just $1. So yeah, I began to read it and, and I like it till so far. Okay, let's proceed with the makeup. I'm gonna get everything here. I will start with Bath & Body Works. Well, we don't have a Bath & Body Works in the Netherlands, so I'm always excited when I get the chance to go to one. Um, let's see, oh, I have one in my pocket, I think. I was looking for the last one. Yeah, then I have everything. Okay, so I'm totally addicted to these um, antibacterial hand gels. I always buy them, I bought live a few as well. And the ones I, buy, I bought this time are uh, tacos on my spirit animal, Japanese cherry blossom, black cherry merlot, peach bellini, and unicorns on my spirit animal. So yeah, I like the sense of these. And I always have one, either in my bag or in my pocket or, you know, at home, upstairs, downstairs. I have them everywhere, at work, on my desk. I, I cannot live without these hand gels. Yeah, I just, I make myself addicted to them. <laughs> I also bought like these fragrance mists. I love fragrance mists. I bought two of them and then Japanese cherry blossom and warm vanilla sugar. I started using the Japanese cherry blossom because it's still a little bit, even though it's autumn, it's still a little bit sunny and summery. So yeah, I wanted to use this one and oh, I love the smell. Yeah, I love using it. So then what I also always buy are these Lady Speed Sticks deodorant. Yeah, I bought three of them, two of these and one. Of this one I just saw this random standing there I know it says teen spirit but yeah it just looked like fun and it smelled nice so I thought I'd buy this one as well so yeah I just like this deodorant very very much and yeah you cannot buy this in a Dutch store so I always take some when I'm in the United States just so I can use them here again and then um, okay I have another addiction that is lip balms. I have like really, really a lot of them. So I bought quite a few again. It's okay, I just have four here. Let's see, just to add some things again to my collection. Um, 
I started out with these two, these ellipses, and that is um, Passionate Fruit and Chocolate. I haven't tried this one yet. And Sea Salt and Caramel. I have tried this one already because I bought another one and I love it. I love Sea Salt and Caramel in anything, so definitely also in a lip balm. Yeah, I love lip balms with the most weird tastes and, and, and smells, so yeah. Another one I bought is from EOS. Yeah, I can't resist buying EOS lip balms as well. That's like a shimmery one. I love it a lot again. And then I found one that just looks so cute that I couldn't resist it. And that's like this cute little stormtrooper. So still a little bit of a film item as well. It's a lip smocker. And you can see it in here. I haven't used it yet. But I just like the look of it. It's just nice to have. Okay, and then off with more makeup. Um, I was planning on buying some stuff uh, of Kat Von D because that is not being sold in the Netherlands either as far as I know. I've tried to look it up a few times but I couldn't find any selling points here. And yeah, I just decided to wait until I was in the USA and then buy some, uh, some of her stuff. So I bought the Kat Von D concealer. I'm wearing that one right now, but just uh, below the eyes. Um, the the color is L3 Warm. It's the first time I didn't have the the most light color there was. This is the second one. This is the Locket Concealer. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with it. Before this, I was using the Mac, but then with with some kind of little pump on it. But there's always too much on my hand, and then I'm always like. Yeah, it just doesn't work very nicely and this one really, really fits my color and yeah, I love to use it. What I also bought from Kat Von D was uh, this one, the liquid lip line, the li liquid lipstick and it's in the color Outlaw. I'm wearing that one right now. I like it a lot, I like the color, but I do have to say it doesn't stay in place all day, not for me at least. When I've had something to eat or to drink, soon I will just have a line here and then here nothing. I just put this on before filming, so that's why it's still okay. But I, I do like it and it do sticks on quite some time, but you have to check it. Because otherwise you're just walking around with one piece and not everything. So, yeah. I like it, but I had expected that it would stick around all day. So, I also bought another lipstick, more lipsticks, uh, it's the Urban Decay, it's from the Urban Decay Vice and um, it's the color Big Bang Metalized and I really love it, yeah. It's a great color and I love wearing it, it sticks around like okay but it's more or less like everything or nothing and that's fine, uh, yeah, I, j I just like the color. And I, I love using it, so I'm really glad I, I bought it. And I'm a big fan of the Urban Decay brand. So to go on on Urban Decay, I also bought the Urban Decay All Nighter yeah, foundation. I was looking for a foundation. I don't use foundation a lot. I don't wear it right now. But I was looking for one that would match my skin tone and not would be like too much on there. Um, so I bought this one and, and I, I really do like it. More in the winter I will, more, I will wear more foundation than now. So I've used it a couple of times and I'm really happy with it. It sticks around very long. And then you also always have Sephora favorites and there I bought some of these uh, highlights. I wanted to try it out a little bit more. And on my list there's already for a very long time the Bobbi Brown highlighter. This is the bronze one. You can see it here. I'm really happy with that because I, yeah, I, I wanted it already for a very long time, and now I have now I have just a small one, and I'm wearing it right now. And I just see in the camera, and it's a little bit too much. You know, you really see like the dark, that it that it's quite a bit darker. So the next time I'm gonna put it a little bit down, not so much. I was in the before a mirror with low light, so I did it a few times. So okay, I'll bring it down a little. But I still, I, I do love the shimmer brick of, of Bobbi Brown. And as you can see, yeah, it's really visible <laughs> that I'm wearing it. 
I also have some other highlights. I just wanted to try some out because I used to never wear a highlighter, but now I do, and I just like to try out what what's best for me. I also have the the one of Tarte, and you can see that one a little bit better here. Then I have the Benefit High Beam. I've used it one time already, and it's actually quite okay. I know a lot of people are big fans of Benefit, but I usually don't really like their products but yeah i guess that's that's personal I, I i've tried a couple of things and that that wasn't really my style so i i skipped it but it's in uh, i'm gonna try this one out until now it seems uh, nice one of my favorite in this is the um the nude stick nudies and this is also a highlighter you can see it here and I really love this one. Yeah, it really looks nice and subtle. It's not um, it's not so heavy as this one of Bobbi Brown, but it's more like a, a subtle one. So I really like that one. And here is the Cover FX. You can use this one as drops. And this one is also, um, yeah, for me, quite heavy. I have to to be sure not to put on too much. I tried this one yesterday. And it, yeah, the first time I really had like two drops and I had it like here everywhere and I was just shimmering. So <laughs> I took everything off and just put a little bit up again. So I really have to be careful with that. And um, the last one I have is this Milk Wake Up. Makeup. Wake Up. <laughs> this is also a stick. And it's not as dark on my skin as it looks here. I've tried it and it's definitely also not as dark as this one. So it's actually quite nice. I'll put it up a little bit here so you can see it. So, you know, it's a bit of darkish, but not that much. So I can still use it. It's okay for me. So these are the things I bought. And well, let me know in the comments. Have you been ever been to New York too? If you go to the USA, what do you buy? Do you have any movie, movie shirt or makeup buy tips for me? Just let me know in the comments and check out our website www.conmouse.com and see you soon. Bye!